we can see the top down. Good. Episode nine, you guys ready? We're ready. Good luck. Hey, good luck. Good luck. Don't be nervous. Is this my spot? Am I always going to be nervous? Here? I think so. I think that's my the good spot. Side. Okay, we got to order pizza first. All my sides that's what's on side. the mail. Originally, it was going to be Chi Chi's. You've had Chi Chi's. Right? Chi Chi's. What do you think of it? It's good. But not like, I love it. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I love Chi Chi's. <laughs> And Brian told Dude, me, I he lured my, me here with Chi Chi's. I think my favorite pizza is a little bit controversial. Hold on, I was speaking. <laughs> I clearly didn't care. <laughs> yes, I know. Go Wait, ahead. What were you saying? It's controversial. Brian lured me here. You know, he was saying. I know what I said. Brian <laughs> lured me here with Chi Chi's because I love Chi Chi's. He said, yeah, we get Chi Chi's. <laughs> okay, Chi Chi's. And I love Chi Chi's. And he's like, I show up. Yeah, no Chi Chi's. <laughs> well, I call and they don't deliver. And hey, we got a small production team here. So what are you going to say that's controversial? My favorite, like, pizza place. Oh, Papa John's. No. Oh. The cheese pizza from Domino's. No, no, no. Papa John's is way more controversial. I, just everyone, right, just I, flat cheese? Everyone I say that, it's like, oh, how do you, like, everyone I tell about Domino's, is like, oh, Domino's sucks. Honestly, I don't eat much pepperoni because it's high histamine. I have a histamine sensitivity. <laughs> <laughs> this okay. is true. All right. Okay. I'm so, an exceptional human have you guys, being. So last time I had Pizza DeMarco, have you guys had that place? I've never no. had Pizza DeMarco. Okay, we're gonna get Pizza DeMarco. Can you switch All it right. to All right, is it good? It is. So you, why don't you get a different pizza so the audience has something new? No, I want you guys to taste it and then we're gonna try, we're gonna order from two different spots. <gasps> two different spots. Two, two different pizzas. pizzas. This is two exciting. I, okay. My favorite food, pizza. <laughs> is it really? Uh, yeah. Like favorite junk food, not favorite food. Favorite food. Huh? It's my favorite food. Or steak? Like steak yes. Pizza. You like steak. I like pizza. I do like my steak. My favorite is like dumplings. Ooh. Like what kind guys, of dumpling? Have you guys been a Din Tai Fung? Apple dumpling. Have you guys been a Din Tai Fung? Yes, I have. There what about dim sum? Type. It's so good. Ooh, that'd be good. It's like a dim. It's it's like dim sum. All that and dim you sum. Get like chicken dumplings. You got some <laughs> pork dumplings. You know what dumplings? It's here in Santa Clarita. No, oh. it's at the Americana. No, no. dumplings Ameri are not my favorite. It's Your no. head shaped like a dumpling. <laughs> <laughs> you should love them because it's just like a dumpling. Is it? I'm just kidding. I know. It kind of does. Okay, now you're all self-conscious. Let's just uh, move on from that. <laughs> no, I'm not. You think I'm self-conscious? Okay. Wait, no, you're the least self-conscious. <laughs> Look at the camera. Is, is that an insult? Get that in can see what? I can see everything you can see. Can you read what that says? Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, I got there's, it. There's a specialty pizza. We can do Cajun chicken chipotle pasta. That says Chipotle. Oh, that's a Chipotle. Oh, Clearly, that's they pizza. don't speak there we Spanish. Go. They have a combination pizza, vegetarian, all meat, Hawaiian. Dude, Hawaiian. Get yeah. what you like. Get what you. Okay. No, I'm asking what yeah. you guys. Okay. You guys all are meat. Yes. <laughs> you know, all meat special. All meat special. All meat special. Yeah. This is how. This is what. When you order with me, I'm just like, I don't care. Just get something. Okay. All but meat I will decide here. I will make an effort. There's. Okay, yeah, that is really small. <laughs> Can you turn it on its side? No. <laughs> okay. Here, just look at it here. Okay, what do you want me to do? Just pick a specialty pizza or just... Okay, so I get to choose one? Yeah. Party Hawaiian. Large chicken. Marinated chicken breast, red onions, mozzarella cheese dough. Can I get a custom? Do whatever, yeah, you pick the pizza. So I grew up. My favorite. Wait, but why'd you put one of the my phone favorite. down? You just said. Because it's custom. I don't even know if it's on there. You just gotta make your own order. Okay. Canadian bacon, mushroom, and onion. It's so good, bro. Oh, that's on. That's a little bad. It's so good. Okay. No. <laughs> no. I'm not a Mr. huge Canadian bacon connoisseur. I hate Canadians too, <laughs> but I love their bacon. <laughs> I'm joking, all you Canadians. How's that sound? Oh, that sounds really good. That's fine. But what oh, about what I said? I'm getting so mad at each other right now. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. <laughs> you guys are just taking forever to order a dang pizza. Okay, chicken well, pesto pizza. Chicken pesto pizza. But what? What about pizza, pepper, pizza, pizza, bacon, mushroom, and onion? You veto? Oh, we'll order. You two. can veto. We'll order from that. We'll order from the same spot. We'll do. We'll do this chicken. We'll do this. I love pesto. You order one. What do you want? Hey, you All can meat. veto if you want. You're paying. Yeah. All meat. You can veto if you want. You're paying. If you don't like the Canadian bacon, this. mushroom, and onion, You're I'm okay with that. This. I'm a man you know, of I'm getting, I'm getting a large all meat. I'm getting a. Just tell him what you want. I said all meat. I did. Yeah, we're getting what it. You, what we're we're going to get what you want, Joe. He wants extra cheese. Honestly, okay, chicken pesto sounds. Extra cheese. Extra cheese. Just get, just get plain <sighs> cheese pizza for Joey. Pesto sounds really good. I don't want plain cheese pizza. 
I didn't drive all the way across town. You had to come here anyway. You said you're gonna pick pizza. everything off if we get you something else. I'm gonna pick you off. <laughs> I'm gonna pick your nose. I mean. <laughs> okay, Joey, what do you want? Here, you customize it. Just, just, so are you getting the chicken pesto? No, no, we got the all meat pizza. Chicken pesto sounds pretty good. Okay, get, let's get the chicken pesto. <laughs> it's something new. I need to, I need to expand my horizons and not be like chicken Brady. Chicken pesto. <laughs> pretty sure I've lost like three brain cells listening to you guys. <laughs> I think the audience is getting annoyed with us arguing. <laughs> okay, you said the, the chicken pesto pizza, okay? Chicken pesto pizza sounds really good. This I work environment is the equivalent of watching SpongeBob. That's very true. Of watching a mule give birth. <laughs> <laughs> Have you done that? <laughs> no. All right, any dessert? They do have cheesecake. Of course, Dude, dessert. Uh, yes. Can you give me a small sip of our cheesecake? Okay. Cheesecake. For cheese. Cheesecake? Cheesecake. It's pretty good cheesecake. And it's spinning because we're having pizza that has cheese on it. Is it just plain cheesecake? Yes. They're, they don't have any other like flavors? It has all of them. Oh, hold on a second. Okay. Kelly and I were watching. <laughs> <laughs> order it's the food! No, no, no. The next place you order from. What was it? it was Bro, like, we're just getting it from this place. We're getting two different pizzas. There so. was this, there was this like uh, monkey bread looking thing that looked so good from like Domino's or something like that. Monkey bread? Okay. Sorry, I'm just a little hangry, guys. That's all. <laughs> I haven't eaten today. Cheesecake sounds good. All right, we're gonna do. I love cheesecake. I love cheesecake. Individual. Because for Brady. pizza doesn't have enough cheese. Just pepperoni. Yeah, it's pepperoni. Extra cheese. No. This needs to be cut out. Huh? Okay. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't think ordering pizza was gonna be that hard. Brian, if you start getting views from this conversation about ordering pizza, you've made it. <laughs> That's how you've made it. That's, That's how, how you, you know you've you made it. Star. So you can just do anything. And people will watch. Okay, Start. checking out. We're gonna do priority. It's four dollars more, Joey. Priority is a scam. <laughs> I'm telling you. Tell, tell them you the scam. Pay, you already told me. You pay me. four dollars, and if they don't make it in time, if they don't make it within what I don't know, it's like 15 to 30 minutes or something like that, they give you the money back. So basically, they're just like, hey, there's a chance we get there in time. We're gonna make four extra dollars. If we don't make it, we'll just give you the money back. So it back. it's a scam. My favorite. I never is, pay for it. My favorite is just watching Jeff's face as Joey's explaining all. <laughs> I'm just watching. I didn't come here to be. Are you social. happy? Or are you really grumpy right no, now? I'm actually happy. I'm just joking. I'm actually happy. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy. kidding. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. Uh, happy okay, I'm hold on. Happy. That pizza doesn't get here in time. I'm digging into your snacks over there. You said they're gross, dude. Go for it. No, what, hey. what is this? Uh, what are these? What are these? <laughs> That's a. Uh, Curry Pizza Company and Pizza Those DeMarco. Those are brochures. What a terrible name for pizza. What? Curry Pizza Company? No, you know what's funny? We weren't going to order it. We're like, that's some exact yeah, same sounds thing. sounds Indian. I don't. That's what I thought. And then Brady's like, no, it's fire. The, we ordered it at church. It was delicious. And you know what? It was pretty darn good. Well, I bet. It's just a terrible name. It's not Indian, right? It's that's just, like well, absolutely nothing to do with Indian, but that's what we thought That's too. like naming. But they do have like, like, they do have curry pizza. Uh, yeah. So. But oh. nobody wants a curry right. pizza. <laughs> That's true. It's like naming a pizza joint Cinnamon Pizza Company. <laughs> right. Like, I don't want cinnamon on my pizza. That's fair. <laughs> Butt right. crack pizza. That's fair. <laughs> oh, these are both the same. So you're not gonna order from here? No, we got we got but, two large pizzas. But we got coupons. Mm. So is my there a dad rule? used to. There was one time I was I was younger and I was not married. My, I was going on a date with a girl, first date. And my dad was like, you need to go to the spaghetti factory. I was like, I'm not going to the spaghetti factory. He's like, yeah, you need to go to the spaghetti factory. I have a coupon for you. I was like, I'm not going to the spaghetti factory. I'm not using a coupon on first date. He's like, she'll love it. She'll know you're resourceful. I'm like, I'm not skimping on yeah, right. first date you imagine? At, the at the spaghetti factory. So <coughs> Sorry. Hey, estimated arrival, 1240. You got 20 minutes to eat. <laughs> Dude, what? It's not enough time. That's estimated. It could be late. Uh, and to be honest with you, it said 1245. I just shaved down five minutes just to give you more hope. <laughs> I drove all the hey, way over either here. Either way, either way, you, you will have here. pizza here. Either way, there will be I, pizza. I should here. just make the guy that I'm interviewing just wait in there. Humble. Just tell him. Wait. Oh, oh is this is for PA. I'll make it quick. I'll be like, what do you want to do for a living? Uh, I want to be an astronaut. You're hired. Bye. <laughs> I need pizza. Yep. <laughs> well, on, on, on that on that note, as you can tell, I'm over talking about pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't talking about pizza. Yeah, 
Yeah, you were talking you're gonna about feed pizza. You literally were talking about pizza. You're just this pizza guy. It's all about pizza. So what are we doing? Uh, so while we wait for the pizza, I did have uh, some of the regulars ask a question. Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you, Jeff. No one asked a question about you. That's fine. But I didn't give him much time to ask. So don't change it just yet. So hang tight, hang tight, hang tight. 23 minutes. Minimum. <laughs> That's a minimum, bro. I'm not even gonna get pizza. You know the tipping like aspect of DoorDash makes no sense. Because you tip based off of quality of service, but you paid the tip before they even deliver the food. You don't have to though. No, but then they there's a warning. If you don't tip, there's a warning that pops up to say that you're you're gonna upset the 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 driver and welcome then you to California. show up and they like chuck the food or they spit in it. Yeah, welcome to well, California. Well, that's why I always tip before because I was like, I just want you to know I'm gonna tip you. It's but they could still have terrible service and then you've just tipped for no reason. But okay. the point of tipping is <laughs> to give to reward good service. It incentivizes yes, good service. Yes, true. I agree with you. I, I I'm sure we have the exact same tipping beliefs. But, or they see that they're going to get a tip and they're like, oh, okay, this is a solid tip. I'll make sure I, I give that. Oh, so if I don't get a tip, I'm going to do a terrible job my, uh, yeah. my work. Yeah, what? Or minimum. So I'm just going to be a failure in life. You know? Okay, so what do you quantify as like excellent service? As, a, as an Uber? It's, it's hot, you know. Okay, I can tell you something. It's all, I have okay, an go ahead, go ahead. So Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast, <laughs> he tried to shut down Beast Burger, right? I don't know. Because of quality of service. I'm not I, even I sure this was a Beast Burger issue. So Kelly and I- He tried to shut down? I thought they shut down and they tried to sue him. I don't, uh, this is misinformation. There was some, uh, there is some sort of situation. I, I so, heard what you're saying. Kelly and I uh, were like, oh, Beast Burger's on Grubhub because we had a $25 gift card to Grubhub. Yeah. And so we got it and some guy in a Tesla Model X delivers it to me. And <laughs> I get the bag, I bring it inside and the seal is broken on the bag. You know how they like put a little sticker over the yeah. bag? The seal's broken. I was like, that's weird. It must just be a coincidence. And uh, so I open it up. The seal's broken on the burger. Oh, what? no. What? I open up the burger. I got a double burger. And I was like, oh, that's a double. I open it up. It's a single patty folded in half. <laughs> you ate your food? And Kelly's was too. He ate your food? I think so. See, and you tipped How was he gonna pay for a Tesla and X? And you tipped him, right? Of course I tipped him, it was beforehand. Exactly. What the, this is a stupid tipping beforehand. Like DoorDash could easily like have a tipping prompt come up after. Yeah, yeah. See? Okay, but okay, so Joey, Mr. Beast Burger Company, <laughs> Company is suing him for $100 million. Yeah, so they're making burgers and he doesn't even want them to make burgers. Mr. B sues to shut down the ghost kitchen produced. Yeah, he doesn't even want it. Why are they suing? And that's why. Wait, switch to it? Honestly, I think it was the driver though. Why are they suing? Why, why are they suing him or something to suit against? Because he slandered them. Not like slandered, but I think he like tried to shut it down or he no longer supported it and they were basically saying like, Oh, like he wanted we had to shut a deal down, or but something. they had this company that's existing and they didn't want to stop. Yeah. So was he trying to push I guess. it? And he, well, he just, I mean, and I respect it. He didn't like the quality control. It said that Donaldson did, did not deliver on his contractual obligations, including publicity and promote. Okay. So if he breached the contract, then they, can then they might have a valid. We don't point. know any of this story. <laughs> well, no, it's right. I mean, this is like this investigative is the work right here, you know? <laughs> investigative work. We're, we're investigating the truth. So, oh, okay, so he's just trying to get out of the con. So, yeah, I had a guy that tried to make it look like it was a double patty. He ate two patties out of my wild. burger. That we got wild. all our money back from Grubhub, though. Thank you, Grubhub. And then the next night, we got a meal. Who's Emil? A meal. Amelia? So. A snack? A snack, yeah. <laughs> this guy, so my my daughter's name is Amelia, and then she wouldn't eat her meal. She wouldn't eat her so dinner. He's like, I'll give her a snack, and he started calling her a snack, yeah. Because she wouldn't eat <laughs> her meal. You can't call her Amelia. Is that the stupidest thing you've ever heard? <laughs> he loved it. He was laughing all night. I did. I did. The laugh. best part with <laughs> Joey's jokes is when he just stares at you and just waits for that laugh. <laughs> that when he commits oh, to gosh, it. Oh gosh, that is creepy, dude. <laughs> you should uh, audition for the next he, it movie. He, he's figured <laughs> out a hack for his bad jokes. He'll just stare at you and wait for you to laugh. Then you feel that awkwardness, <laughs> and then it and laugh. then it, it turns funny. Brian's just made all this up. <laughs> <laughs> 
You literally just. That's not even funny. I got more than I'm supposed to do. I'm talking to you. Am I supposed to look away? <laughs> but see, it's not You're funny right. what he said, but he stares at you. See, Brian is so scared of eye contact because he's a timid man. It's actually man, so kind of like a genius you. thing to do. That's what I'm saying. You know, because it's like, it makes it funny, <laughs> even though if it's not funny. You know? It's called a backup plan. It's like if a comedian makes a joke and no one laughs, they put it on the, on the crowd by saying, Nobody likes that. Crowd. Yeah. And then now it's the crowd's fault, not his. So that's yeah. the same thing, except. But it doesn't turn, even when you say tough crowd. It but it just it turns it against the person making the Yeah, that's, that's what he does, and, but it makes it funny. Right. Hey, no, respect. You figure, respect. You, yes. Absolute respect. Old knuckles. What's the status on my pizza? All right. Um, if I'm, I'm still eating that pizza, even if like podcast is over and my interview is over, I'm coming back and eating the pizza. No, yeah. Come you back. You could even okay. deliver a slice to you. If you want, During you can the even have the interviewee eat pizza okay. and then you just rate his response. I can give him so some pizza too. Give him some pizza. Let that determine whether you hire him or not. He's going to be eating during the interview. <laughs> All right. No, I did have a question, Jeff. What's this? Wait. What's the status on my pizza? Uh, estimated time arriving at 10, 12.45. Till 12.45. Well, 17 minutes left. And hopefully they're early. Latest arrival by 1 o'clock. You know what? I do think that it's a tactic of theirs. Latest arrival by 1. Huh? I do think it's a tactic of theirs to estimate late so that you're satisfied. And if that's the case, then I will be satisfied. I picked priority, so we're first on the list. Priority, man. No, what are they doing, driving past the speed limit? <laughs> no, no, they deliver more than one meal at a time. No, just one meal. Or if they get multiple orders, they deliver ours. Priority. So if everybody pays for priority, the guy at the end, his meals is cold and exactly. crap. <laughs> yeah, that's what priority is. All right. Anyways. It took a little longer to order and took to set up, so it's I apologize, right. and Jeff couldn't come earlier. So oh, he Jeff's pulled up Jeff and Colby. So it's my Jeff fault. and Colby. So I, I have a qu Jeff, so what's going on with this? I've never talked to you about this. Yeah. Wait, it, can you? There we go. Yeah, it's a, it's a little blog channel that my friend and I are starting just for just for fun. It, it started out a little, like the first video you see is like, you know, a little more intense. Yeah. You watch it, it's very structured. Yeah. It, you could argue it's like it's kind of like it's it's very dangy bros, but we want to we wanted to do something that's like obviously I can't run too dangy bros. If I were to run too dangy bros, I would I would die. Yeah. First of all, so we wanted to do. Honestly, I I'm surprised you're alive running the dangy bros now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's dangerous. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> but um, so we wanted to do longer videos more like let no oh, 46 like wow. pick something fun to do with the goal but like literally no plan for it um and so we're kind of going in that direction okay and it's just kind of a little side channel that we're doing nice. so but cool yeah so just like just like are you guys because I, I watched the uh the our en engine almost broke or we almost oh, the, broke the operating one now is that smoke real it, it yeah i tried finding that spot because I wanted to see what you were up to. So you didn't watch it. The whole thing. No, I didn't. Because I, mean, I didn't get to that point yet. I'm watching it, but it's like real. Interesting. Yeah. It, for some. So what happened was, the the, I don't know why it happened because I've done steeper hills. Uh huh. But, the what my friend that's like a car guy told me because he was there. He told me that if at a certain angle oil could then like spill into the engine oh, like, and, burn. and then it burns. Oh. And so I was freaking out because I'm like, you thought what? the engine was, Oh, well, I've just never experienced anything like that before. You just got to burn off the oil. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that's all it was. Hopefully. I'm not going to, I like watching this stuff. Like this reminded me of tiny car a little bit, obviously not this extreme. Yeah. I'm guessing you've seen Matt's off-road recovery. Yep. You should think about doing just like an off-road channel. That'd be cool. That would be cool. Save I me. don't ever want to go off-roading with you again. <laughs> I've been off roading with you. It's a little too crazy. <laughs> Just a baby. Really? Maybe. I, you've maybe. Let's make a video on your channel. It'll be a segment. We'll go off roading. We'll, no. You'll judge. We you'll can do the whole. Can't we can do a whole episode of this in your car? Yeah, and we'll just we'll have I Joey will come. Either. Nope. And he will be screaming like a, a baby, and you'll be. Are you being serious? And you, yeah, I'll, I'm, that'd be so fun. And then we'll do a canteen episode. Canteen on the, episode. I won't be there. <laughs> okay. Wait. All right. So do, where do, where would we go? Because it'd be cool to like on the way there, we get somewhere, maybe have maybe some steak. We grill, mm. well, a portable grill. So where we went, we could we could either go, either go there again, or if you want a different if you want a different place than what we, where we went. There well, are, was this fun? Yeah. Would you do it again? Want to do it again? So the cool thing about that one is there's there's like a it, they built it. Whoever I don't know the state yeah, or whatever yeah. they built like those obstacles. Yeah. So you can it's like an obstacle. <laughs> <Yes>. Yawning. <laughs> That's not a normal. <laughs> 
<laughs> You're Continue. not just yawning. Continue. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it, Sean. Um, they have like the more intense rock crawling. Yeah. That's what they put in there. And they have, there's places with natural obstacles, but you have to kind of go a lot farther to find stuff that's intense like that. Because so where was that again? That was Hungry Valley. That's but like right. It's up the, up the yeah. side here. You really need to go to, where did we go? Moab. Yeah, Utah. but what was our spot in Moab? We off-roaded. Where we off-roaded, it was so cool. So there's, a, there's another place that's off the 126 that has a river, so we could do river crossings. Oh, that'd and be so cool. And then we could go oh, up yeah, yeah. there. You wouldn't go? Dude, we'd be fine. Don't I'm be off-roaded with this guy we, before. Because he's just too crazy or what? Too crazy. That's not even true. I'm not. I, I think I'm pretty mild with it. Something's wrong up there. <laughs> we all That's fine. I still don't have to go. Remember when we went with you and you like nearly broke your truck? Yeah. You funny. are, you, that is crazier than what I would do. Because you went into this but obstacle. But the difference going. is, I'm the one in control there. I don't like being in a car where somebody's oh. doing something and I can't control it. Okay, so you, uh, so he was driving more intense, but you just don't like I went off-roading with Caden one time too. and I'm, He almost flipped himself. Or didn't he flip off a cliff or something? He flipped his car, yeah. Wasn't that for a video? Like he wanted to... Yeah. yeah. Oh, he didn't do it on purpose. And you told me to not go with him. I did, dude. <laughs> I want to cut that out. <laughs> I don't know if you care or not. I, no, you I told, told I not. told Caden, if he watches this, he'll he'll be like, yeah, that's You true. told me not to go with him. I told Caden, like, don't do this channel, dude. It's dangerous. It's expensive. Nobody's going to watch it. <laughs> I, I'm just... I'm trying to help him. Right, and tough love right sure there. enough, he flips his car. Oh, no. And stops the channel because of it, because he totaled the car. What kind of car did he have? Uh, FJ Cruiser. Dang. And I had, like, there was one time I had to, like, he called me up and he's like, hey, like, I'm, uh, I don't want to gossip. I, I feel like he'd be fine with it. I love you, Caden. We, we um, love you, Caden. There's nothing against you. <laughs> I, he calls me up. He's like, hey, I need you to pull me out. Like, he took Woods. Uh, like off roading, oh, okay, I yeah. need you to pull me out of like a ditch or whatever. And like he sent me his location, and I had to drive through like all these fire roads, like no trespassing signs. <laughs> and by the time I got there, I was heated. <laughs> oh, I remember this. I remember you told me you were mad. You I were was not mad. Happy. I was like, dude, Caden, this was irresponsible. I'm like a dad. <laughs> I was being a dad. I don't think I was a dad then, but like I was being a dad. I'm, a, I'm gonna be a dad. And I was just like, dude, this is irresponsible. You're washing my car today. <laughs> That's right. I you made him funny. wash my truck that day. That's so funny. Because like it was dangerous for me. It messed up. Like I, I didn't care that it messed up my car. That was just like I was kind of like trying to do a dad it's moment dirt. there. And I was just like, right. you're responsible for Woods when he's in your car. You're responsible for his safety. And they slid down like a like a like a Ravine sketchy like hill. hill, and like couldn't get back up, and like could have easily flipped it then. I was like, dude, you gotta you gotta care for your talent when they're when you know it's your shoot. And so he learned his lesson. Good. I love you, kid. But I I, I want to go. Yeah, we'll we'll go. And I, he the way he's hyping it up as I'm this crazy driver is just not true. I it's mean, I <laughs> I just don't like not having control. Honestly, I don't. That's I'm funny. not crazy about being a passenger in other people's car. <laughs> yeah. No, I feel that's that. That's not true. I'm, I'm, I'm all right. It does depend on the driver. I get, I get the feeling. Yeah. But if they're they're doing something that you're not used to, it would it would make sense that you'd be yeah. uncomfortable. Yeah. I don't know. Ever since I had kids, I was just, I'm just like, I gotta stay safe. I gotta stay safe. Everything's gonna kill me. You did. Once you started having kids, you're 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 uh, you dialed back the. I don't know. The, uh, I mean, I what do you want to call the it? The testosterone. <laughs> <laughs> the stupidity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The T on the T dial. The T. And uh, <laughs> the T dial. I'm, just, I'm just a little more cautious now. Which is smart. I mean, but I, I, yeah. Yeah, I, I do remember when you, when you were, when you got married, because you're like, all right, well, I'm married now. I'm responsible to somebody. <laughs> you started, you started dialing Yeah, down. got it. It's okay. We get it. Yeah. We get it. Which is smart. I mean, heck. Yeah. I mean, I'll, I agree. Yeah. David, there's, yeah. but I, right, so I got excited. family support. Be alive for. Sweet. Let's I just gotta figure out how to rig for being dumb. I'll do like like a simple one camera dash cam. We'll just yeah. There's there's a there's a, a GoPro mount on my windshield. Yeah. I also have um, arrival by the latest 105. Will you stop looking at it? 
you ma you're making it take longer. No, Fanny has got the order. There's a lot of good mounting points that you could put cameras, so that would be easy. I'm sorry. <laughs> I told you. I was like, dude, okay. it's not gonna get here in time. How many people can you take? You can take four. what? Four? Unless you're gonna put some people on the bed. No, I'm I don't want to do that. I'm just kidding. No, you can put four people in there, including me. Okay. That would. Be you fun. hear that rain? It's raining it hard. This would be a great time to go off roading. Isn't Although it too wet? Isn't it too muddy? No. No, but I, do you hear how I totaled my truck last year? Yes. I, I, I ingested it. water into the engine and last year, the same, wait, what? Yeah. You that got a new truck? No, I salvaged it. I put a new motor in. Oh, you went to like, so, so I, you know, I have the snorkel now on my truck. Yeah. I didn't have that before. And I, and I, it was raining really hard on new year's and I was like, Oh, I want to explore. Cause I like driving yeah. in rain and in puddles. It's just fun to me. Yeah. And then it was when I was living in sand Canyon and there was like a river that goes through there. And I decided to go into the river, and it was not a good. Well, you could have died. No, 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 it wasn't like that. So when you get a snorkel. But wait, hold on. If you got that deep into water, that water could have swept you away. No, potentially. It it wasn't. It wasn't Sweeping? that bad. It was still. How high it was, was it? It has to be pretty high. It was like it was like this this high. That, that that's not that high. It's what? a tiny How truck, it? dude. It's the Turd Pro. <laughs> <laughs> TRD Pro. Yeah. Stupid. What was your question? Uh, so when you get a snorkel, it's not just as easy as just like putting a snorkel on there. You have to like do stuff to the engine and no, no, seal no, no, it no. underneath. No, they built it for the, the truck. So you have the air intake box and there's a little tube that naturally comes out. It, it's in, it's in the, uh, like kind of the, the fender ish fender well of the, of the Tacoma. So you, you have to, you'd have to cut the truck. So I had to cut a hole in the, in the metal. And then the you snorkel, did yeah, or they did I did it oh. and then the snorkel just fits in there and you have to bolt it on it's it honestly wasn't that bad Look, so water it. still gets in the engine it can if I if now wait what uh, I don't see it up there it says look it's tiny a, screen uh, can we put it on the, the big look it can says, you put it on the right one I can't see that. <laughs> oh no okay yeah uh, there we go see look it says it's an easy install yeah it took it took me like one night to do oh wow yeah, it's just it's just a pipe, essentially just a pipe that co goes up. You connect it to your airbox. It's just like a snorkel. Do you know this guy, the yeah. Wander Taco? Huh? Wander? Wander? No, I've never heard of him. The Wander Taco. I like this guy's. What about Why Taco? That's his template. So you literally had to like. I did this, literally that. Oh, and I, dude. And I cut it. I Cutting cut it. into your truck? That's a you nice truck. I was so nervous when I was doing it because it's like, that'd be an expensive piece to like replace. But there's but some forgiveness, right? There is forgiveness. You're right. And I actually did mess up. You did? My, the holes just ended up being in the correct spot. I just made the, the, the bolt holes bigger and then there's a washer, so it doesn't really matter. The what? The bolt holes. <laughs> Don't fuck <laughs> The bolt holes. You're such a freak, <laughs> Joey. <laughs> I will admit it was scary doing that. Okay, I mean, okay, it doesn't look too bad now that you see it. it but still, how do you cut into it? Um, yeah, I had you the, did I, that. I used that exact tool. Yeah. So I realized the last time I was on this show, I was I had to leave early for an interview. <laughs> people <laughs> must just think I'm just interviewing people all the time. It's not the case. Hold on. I'm the guy didn't want the job. What's the case <laughs> if you just can't set aside the time for your friends? You just leave. You know? uh, no, I was told that we I'm would start saying. earlier. Hey, I tried, uh, but talent was being uh, difficult. Not difficult. I told him a certain time, and you were a last-minute add-on. <laughs> I was B talent. B talent. So what's the status on our pizza? Will you? S I won't. Oh, Fanny's picking up the order. Dude, she better get her Fanny over get here. Her Fanny hey, over here. 12:50 arrival time. No! <laughs> You're serious. What if she shoved all the pizza in a Are Fanny you serious? pack and? Are you serious? Huh? Are you serious? Twelve fifty? Yeah. But the, the the good thing is the latest is still one oh five. That doesn't mean anything. I have to leave at twelve fifty five. It's raining. So and it's raining. The odds are ever against your favor. Hey, we got a microwave in here so I can heat it up for you. You'll be fine. Uh, just you'll have time for one slice. Dude, I'll have time I should for one push slice. back this interview. No, you can't. You're do gonna that. bail on him in eighteen no, minutes before the interview. That. That'd be no. Um, what a, you know what is messed up? What? Fanny. <laughs> How is she messed up? Not bringing my pizza. Oh, okay. Um, 
it did have someone asked Joey. Someone uh, asked me? Oh, you have questions. It's kind of a random question. Oh, so I am the A talent. No, no you're not no. the A talent. You just, there was just a question specifically to you that, hold on. B. Which I found this fun. That's why I had one of those videos up that you were like, why do you have Where that video looking? up? Um, oh, the Scottish Strongman. Yeah, that was a fun yeah. one. Yeah. So, I like that one. Where does it go? Uh, Caesar Leva. He wanted to know if you got rid of that old Aztec fleece. Do you remember that? My wife made me get rid of it. You got rid of it? <laughs> yes. She made me get rid of it. I love that thing. I got it at Goodwill. It was a women's fleece. And she made me get rid of it. Because she didn't like it. <laughs> and I liked it. Yeah, that was a funny thing. Yeah, because someone brought that up. And he remembers that the, the last thing was your wife saying she hates it. When, when was that? <laughs> I don't remember that being online or anything. Dang. I think you cool. may have, you've said you must have said it somewhere. I must have. Because that's like a specific thing. Unless he's thing. in my home. <laughs> but that's why I had this thing. She can maybe get rid of it. Wait, can I see Caesar. it? Caesar. Wait. Put on the. That thing's awful, dude. No. It's <laughs> maybe the best. it's just the. Maybe it was LL just, Bean, bro. Maybe it's just the skirt that makes it. <coughs> I would. No, yeah, overall. I mean, usually guys in skirts don't look the best. Oh dang! That's oh dang! Let's go there. The Scottish guys are gonna That's be an insult to the Scottish. It's a kilt. Yeah, I didn't like. Oh, actually, I didn't mind it. The I was kilt? Okay with it. It, no. The, you get a nice little dress. Sweater. You stay dry. Yeah, the sweater's not bad. Or is this one? No, this is not the one where you hit Jordan. Let's talk about Kevin's hosting. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly and I just watched. Hey, Kevin. What's up, guys? <laughs> Kelly and I just watched the fast food board game video. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was dying You watched that one, right? You watched all our videos? Kevin made that all video. Them, yeah. <laughs> Every single one. Is that your final load of Lagalid? <laughs> what? So my brother, Dude. it was his first time hosting in what, like a year? He hadn't been in the video in a year. I think he was a bit nervous. He was so nervous, he couldn't speak. He couldn't speak. speak. I mean, <laughs> was it like you're redoing intros 20 times? Funny, to man. No, we didn't redo those. He just, we just No, kept. it was funny. It was great. And he was a great sport about it. Like, he didn't like try to be like, yo, can you not put that up? He just like owned it. He's like, I, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I messed whatever. up. She laughed about it. Good times. Very good. Really good times. We ate a lot of fast food too. That was our that second was time filming. Brian almost died. Brian? Choking on a fry. Almost choked on a fry. He inhaled a fry. That's not good. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. One time when we were younger, Chris was choking on a burrito. And my mom like stuck her hand down his like mouth and like pulled it out. What? She like must a have a kid? tiny hand. Chris has <laughs> I a tiny was mouth. This. <laughs> Chris has a tiny mouth though. <laughs> Have you ever seen Chris eat? No. He eats so slow. He's so slow. Really? He, yeah. He'll take like three times the amount of time to eat than a normal person. Because he's talking or just because he's taking And his, his like, wife eats really slow too. And they know it. Yeah, they I'm know I'm not they, just like gossiping about people. Yeah, they, like, they, I, they, I'm okay with them hearing this. They joke about it because they know it, you know. And we were, why do they, Kelly and I went to dinner at their house and Kelly and I were just like, and we look at their place and they're like full. <laughs> Well, is it because they're are we pigs? Or is it because they're like they're they're like really savoring each know, bite, or is it just like they're, they're talking? Just, no, they're just like don't care to eat. Chris has a tiny mouth. I don't think it's because his mouth is tiny. <laughs> it could be a variable. You might be right. I don't know, man. Wait, we Maybe got we got so an update, slow. Joe. It's heading our way. Twelve forty-eight. Two minutes arriving. We've okay. saved two minutes. Yeah, but my guy that uh, is going to interview is probably going to be here early. How early do you Hopefully. Think be? Hopefully not. Hopefully he's late. <laughs> but then if he's late, I'm not going to hire him. Yeah, how about this? If he's if he's five minutes late, you leave an interview. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. I, I, I'm not that confrontational. <laughs> That's true. I probably wouldn't. I'm not that. interviewing. Get out of here. I'd what? be like, yeah, let's interview him. If he's like 20 minutes late, then I think. Well, what late. if it's because like. Maybe there's a reason. That's he's true. got a good excuse. Yeah, well, my mom died. It is raining. And you a lot. still came? <laughs> <laughs> You're right. It is raining a lot. So. You're right. Are you gonna give him? So hopefully he gets in a car crash and it's late. No, <laughs> that's, not, that's not even funny to joke about. That's what he's saying. I'm not saying. No, that. I'm saying it's gonna be bad traffic. Where's he coming from? I don't know. It's not my problem. No more about your your potential employees, Joey. <laughs> no. Oh gosh. That's funny. All right, so that was Caesar's question. Let's see what was the other question. While Jeff is waiting, uh, Dan wants to know how's the shop coming along. I said I just saw it. Can I put? Can I show them? You may. I may. Okay. You may. I'll show the regular. So Dan, 
be on the lookout for that. It's, it's looking cool. sick. Yeah, I'm digging it. I hope, I hope sick. he thinks Have so. you seen it? No. I mean, he showed me a picture of it. Not. Really I couldn't really like <gasps> show him much of a picture. Oh, she's early. She's at the door. Dude, now we'll tip her. Who's know? getting it? Is Brady getting it? Am I getting I'll it? I'll get it. Do you want me to get it? You get it? Well, he may not want you to leave the what podcast. What is this? She's like going back. Oh, okay. oh no, she's lost. I'll, I'll let you handle this. Yeah, dude, jump on. I'm so hungry. I love pizza. Dude, I'm hungry. I'm just a pizza man. Oh, yeah. Okay. I feel really awful looking at my phone during a podcast. It's a, lo it's a long one, bro. It's okay. You got stuff to do. It's not okay. It's disrespectful to our audience. Oh yeah, I forgot what to shout out. talking about? Forgot to shout out uh, Alexander Aguilar. Yeah, one. Is it one Aguilar or Aguilar? Agu yeah, it's Agu Agu <laughs> Aguilar. Aguilar. Another shout out to Scarlett Williams. That's a nice name, Scarlett. I like that. Maybe I should name my daughter Scarlett. That would be. I think the name that's at the top of the list right now is May. What about, M -A -M -A -E. what about Mr. Polar Bear? I'm back. Mr. Polar Bear? Mr. Polar Bear. I think so I these might, are the regulars that right. are going up on the wall today. Right. How regular? And we have, okay, we'll do this after. You what is go. your regularity? I want to know that. Do you take x -Lax? How regular are you? All right, ready? R.L. Maclio. Ooh, that looks good. What did you get? You wanted a... Uh, the chicken, oh, oh that's yeah. it. Did I just see watermelon on that pizza? No, no it's no, gotta no. be tomato. Right, top down. Okay, dude, I thought that was water. Honestly, that tomato doesn't look like the best tomato. It looks it, crispy. It looks pale. Pale tomato, but it looks not crispy. the best tomato. Artichoke. I'm gonna eat it anyways. Go for I'll it. Eat it. I'm eating it. Just dig in, you know? You yeah. Try this one? Thank you for the pizza. Me man. first. <laughs> I'll try it. Wait, we didn't pray. Thank you for this food, Lord. Amen. 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 Huh. This looks pretty There's good. There's feta on it? Feta. Honestly, feta. feta. Bomb. I'm fed up with you. That looks. That's pretty crisp that looks on that camera. So they just put feta on it and you didn't ask for it? I think that's what it had. Man. I said extra cheese, but I didn't know it was going to be. Yo, that chicken parm, it's good. I was good. Hot. Mmm. Mm. So good though. I'm going to try this one now. Mmm. Mmm. It's good. That's really good. This is Pizza DeMarco. Mm-hmm. Wait, are we doing another pizza company too? No. We just got two different ones from the same place. Oh, I thought you said we were going to get two different places, but that's right. We got two different pizzas. This is pretty oh, good. Oh, Canadian bacon. Oh. I do like this. That was the plan, but. Wow, the feta. Plans change. Oh, that is delicious. Kind of tastes like feet a little bit, but I love You love feet? feet. <laughs> no, it's just like, it's probably this because of the same reason. When your feet sweat, it's like a bacteria producing, you know, some sort of smell, like maybe some sort of acid. And feta is made through probably fermentation, culturing. Kind of no produces cheese. a little lactic acid, maybe. Same smell. Feet smell. It's good. I didn't know what we were. I think Pizza DeMarco might be one of my favorite pizzas. Chee -chee's it is good. Like, there's no denying that, you know? Do you want to try one of these, Ren? Is that artichoke? What is that? Is the tomato any good, Joe? You're, you're. Oh, uh, the tomato? Brady, they didn't give us the pepperoni. The pepperoni? Yeah, I ordered it. Oh, I thought you forgot to order it. No, I ordered it. What's in here? Wow. Cheesecake, hopefully. That's not the pepperoni. There's pizza. only one slice of cheesecake. <laughs> they gave us two last time. I'm telling you, man. When you can't check mm. what you're eating. At the door. See, this is why they should have you tip afterwards. Mm. Mm. This is an exact yeah, but example. Tip. But it's, not, it her, not, it's her fault? not her fault. How do you know? I mean, here's the question. Is it her fault because she didn't check right. the order? But they put a seal on the back, so how could she? <laughs> Guys, these are DoorDash has some serious problems. They need to they is need it to DoorDash? Mine was grub, whatever it is. I thought I was gonna hate this, but that's pretty darn good. Dude. Pesto, I love pesto. You know why? It's the besto. That's pretty darn good. <laughs> the joke was so bad. And then you do the look. Oh, Any luck? That's a, huh? What's on the pesto? 
Pesto. 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 Artichoke, chicken. tomatoes, pepperoni, chicken. Pesto. I don't know if you. Uh, there's no artichoke. Where's artichoke? Well, yeah. I, it's not artichoke. What the heck did I just where? eat? That. Right there. Oh, That's, there's artichoke. Eh, I don't like artichoke. Grab one, Brady. Artichoke? You want meat lovers yeah. or do you want? All right, which one though? Mm. Mm. The meat lovers mm. or? Mm. 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 Let, me, let me try this pesto. I haven't tried it yet. Did you ask for pepperoni on that one? Which one? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I just picked the. Interesting. I think mm. I'm the meat lovers. You think you're a meat lover? I like the, I like the pesto. I, I like mm. the other one a little better though. What time is it? I probably have to go now. <laughs> I need a napkin. Is there napkins? Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Brady, do you have the time? Are they going to knock the door? Knock the door. Yeah, they're going to knock the door down. Dude, when you just eat the crust, it tastes like stone fire bread sticks. Mm. Mm. That's good, bro. Right? So we're going to have this PA do. Um, well, they're going to hold the camera. They're going to uh, help me start a membership, help me start a, like a, a, a tool channel, tool review channel. Um, so is it all about just reviewing you? <laughs> nice. Good, yeah. you're committed to it. You oh, is that your face, my baby? <laughs> See, he <laughs> stared at me. He gave me the stare down. Intimidated me. With the straight face, that's when you can't, you have to laugh. Um, For some reason I'm around you, I just like try to make jokes more because you just... You gotta compete, man. I gotta compete with your jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I did, the only difference, I don't do that weird creepy look afterwards. You did. No, I did I just looked you down. Don't look me down, bro. Look, look me down. up. All right, I'm done with this. Because you'll see. <laughs> uh, <laughs> mm. Is it funny? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm scarfing this food down. Have you guys ever been like on a podcast? Mm, yeah. I think once or twice. I was on this lame podcast called The Cantina. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Why, Jeff? That's good. No, because it is funny. You guys, you can tell I'm not used to it either, but it's a whole different like thing. Like, there's not like just action, go, make. What are you talking about? Do you know what he's saying? Yeah. Yeah. He's making perfect logical sense to me right now. What? What is he saying? He's talking about the, the realities of being on a podcast versus being on like some spectacle video with this oh. build and this mm. challenge. And oh. all, like we just are sitting here talking like a couple of bros, you know? Yeah, mm. yeah that's what I'm saying. He's got longer content, you know, hoping that to, the algorithm picks it out because it's like, oh wow, these guys are watching the whole thing, you know? Yeah. I see, I, I got you, dude. This, is, this makes total sense. Mm -hmm. Total logical sense. Mm -hmm. Shop's coming along nicely. Looks cool. Hopefully, it looks cool to me. Look at that. Look, the That's your subjective cheese. opinion. Yeah. Well, uh, and also too is that you can tell like, like that feeling of like having to try and wanting to fill in space, like so there's no dead space. Mm. You talking about the podcast or you talking about my shop? No, no, I like to. I don't know if you're making a joke or not. I, I feel like we just on. have to default to him making it. Like, that's the more likely explanation. When he says something and he just stops talking and stares at me, I don't know if... <laughs> hey, where's your interview? He's late. Uh-uh, is it one? If he's not early, he's late. It's 12.58. All right. I should talking. probably go get ready to answer him at the door. What is this stuff? Oh, I'll friend. see you guys. If you guys are still going when I'm done with the interview, I'll come back. I hope to see you again. Mm. You I'm just going to put my pizza right here. I'm putting the uh, extra Parmesan. Much love. And some of the red peppers mm. on it. Do you do that? I don't think it needs it. I just, I'm gonna try it anyway. it's a little extra add-on that I, I enjoy. So I have a, I have a question for you. Uh-oh. Did you make sure that that wall of, of names is perfectly level? Yes. Okay. Because I was thinking if you didn't, like you would have like this huge thing and then you'd have to redo it. I did the beginning ones. For some reason, ones. that was bugging. I did. Okay. No, I did. The, right. the the ones that I started off with were a little bit off. Well, I mean, it's going to be a little bit off because the wood. That's true. It can warp yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Okay. I not, see. But 
I want, uh, I want you to put your name, write your name down, and we'll put you up, put you up on the wall. Put me, on, put me up on the wall. Sounds good. Mm. Okay, I like it with a little bit of chili pepper and parmesan. It's good. That's a little kick, you know. It does. Mm. That's okay. got to be one of the best slices I've ever had. That's what I'm saying. Once, it, once I had that stuff, dude, you just elevated this pizza. It's really good. Mm -hmm. It's not super expensive either. How much was it? Well, it was 75 bucks all in. That's including the cheesecake. Mm -hmm. One, two, three pizzas. The third one we didn't get. Mm -hmm. mm. Dang, that sucks. It always happens to us. Really? I have to report, yeah, what was missing. Will they give you all your money back because they messed up? No, no, no. I'll just say which item was missing and then they'll, mm. they'll refund it. But. Got it. Mm. Mm. Good, man. Super good. Only thing, mm. with this type of crust, I need ranch. Oh, dude, I forgot. Ranch does make pizza really good. But... Overall, that is so good. The flavor is so good. I don't feel like I need it in the body. I just need mm. it in the crust. On the crust. No, I feel that. I feel that. Mm. Is this yours? Maybe. Use at your own risk. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. I'm bad, bad. Oh, jeez. I don't have that many cooties, dude. No, I have cooties. Oh, okay. Do you have any water? I could. Yeah, you have, yeah, we got some water. Thank you. I'm all alone. No one to talk to but myself. And Brady. Hi, Brady. Oh, we're out of water. <laughs> there. Thank you. I think I got something in here. You want a sparkling water? Sure, I'll take a sparkling water. Oh, look at that. We're out of that sparkling water in there. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> now I got another fridge right here. Okay. Hang tight. Coming at you. Okay. We'll wait. Uh, well, yeah. Out of it there, too. Oh, my gosh. You got three fridges and they're all empty? How is this? I thought... Hold on. There might be more water. Me too, buddy. Go. Oh, you know why? It's not plugged in. <clears throat> oh. I'll do it. Mm. Hey, but thanks for coming, man. Yeah, no problem. There we go. Well, that's coming in slow. There we go. All right, now it's coming. Yeah, I forgot. I was like, why isn't it pumping? Making see your butt. The tush? Those thick the thighs. Thank you. Appreciate it. Here you are. Mm. Have you done merch yet? <clears throat> no, so we're, I'm still trying to figure out the logo mm. of this whole thing. Mm. So when I, so starting this thing, originally I was like, okay, I want to, like, I was trying to figure out, like, the way to go about it. I've never done podcasting. I've never, you know, done any of this stuff. And I figured like, okay, well, I don't want to wait till that stuff can come. Like the logo, mm -hmm. all that stuff can come. Ultimately, if the content, it's not going to make the content better, in my opinion, if I have a logo. Yeah, hundred percent. So I was like, why wait? I want to start doing it. Right. You know, it'll. I'm getting another slice. You want another slice? You done? I'm good. I think I'm good. Thank really? You. Yeah. You want another slice, Brady? All right, go for it. Pesto, really? You gotta no check one. your teeth after pesto, though. Pesto gets in the teeth. Yeah, but the whole logo thing, like, I do want to have, like, merch, but mm -hmm. it's not, like, I need, I need to come out. Yeah, right like you want to do it right away, because you could spend all that time and not make the, the content. You just kind of want to let it happen. Yeah, yeah. and and cool thing is, with having, like, the Patreon and, like, so, it, we're going to figure out what it's, what is that first merch, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's going to be a shirt, you know, it's one of those things that we'll vote on, like, what do we want to see? Shirt? Glassware? I have no idea. Like that's one of the things where it's like, I don't know. What's been your demographic so far? As you have a mouthful of food. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't looked at the demographic. Hmm. A lot of people from Team Edge. 
but that demographic was broad too. Yeah. And my guess is with just with this type of content, it's gonna be older. But. Yeah. But, wow, this is delicious. It is really good. This is my last slice, because if I have another one, I'll be at that point where I'm just like, nap time. Right. And then we'll just be hearing your chewing sound for the next 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I have a hundred five names to put on there. Man, you got some work to do. But it's it's based off of time, like how long they've been. A so, part of it. oh, that makes sense. Yeah, and so, I, and I closed it off. You closed it, like no one else can do it. Oh, why? For this reason, like I didn't know. Oh. Like, I didn't want to have so many people to where it's like, okay, it's gonna take me too long to put the names up or yeah. And it's, it's, a, it's a smaller smaller group too, so, you know, I figured. It's respectable. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So I close it off. I'll probably open it up periodically, like, I don't know, like, depending on where I'm at with the names, depending on what we're, what we're up to. It's like, okay, because I don't want to just, like, accept every, like, not accept, but because, you know, I got my hand all paint, all messed up today. Mm. Splattered all over. But So did it, did it be a member for, like, a month or something? Mm-hmm. A month? Yeah. Two. Two months? Two, but I've been. <laughs> Podcasting while you're trying to eat is pretty hard. <laughs> you got I it. just want to keep eating. This right here. Hold on. Can you do the overhead? That, like, bubble crust right there? That's the best. With the like sauce? The <laughs> just dive in. Mm -hmm. mm. That's Mitch. We're gonna mustache. let you finish. We'll just sit here. No, no, no. I'm good. Okay. I hate when when it gets in my mustache right oh, there. Oh yeah. And I go kiss my wife, and she's like, "Oh, that must be kind of gross." Oh, yeah. If she sees like some, yeah. dude, I, I heard somewhere like in the average facial hair, like what's inside. You know what I'm talking about? Like they find like all sorts of weird bacteria if you don't keep it really clean. Like eat a mustache, like, like E. coli and stuff like no. that. No, and like beards, not just mu like just this general facial hair. It it's no. like a, yeah, it is, it is. I Google it. What what sorts of nasties are found in, in beards? Right, we'll Google it. Like I, I read somewhere like there's some like yeah if you don't keep it clean. So if you're a person that's very hy hygienic and hygienic hy is that the word hygienic. And washes your your face there often. I'm sure it's not as bad, but then it's like imagine someone with with bad habits, and then their wife, like kissing them, and they're just that kissing. That sounds nasty. They're basically just kissing someone's just butt. <laughs> <laughs> like in, in effect, that's what's happening. Okay, not nasty. Nah. <laughs> Beard <laughs> slash mustache. Bacteria. Bacteria. I don't know. There's a test? In this study, Ew. the specific type of entro, whatever that is, found in beards was and en en enterococcus fecal. It's standard for this bacteria to be part of healthy gut microbiome, but as with staph, this bacteria has also potential to cause serious infection. What? Ew. Yeah, dude, if you, don't, if you don't clean your facial hair, you just got bacteria. Do beards carry staff? Men with beards can experience 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 many skin issues, including ingrown hair, staff infect. I mean, my I don't have that thick of a mustache. Can you get an infection from a man's beard? Breeding grounds for germs. I told you. <laughs> see, isn't that gross? I mean, if you wash it daily, then you're fine. Yeah. You know. But just imagine the person that just doesn't shower like a ton and like doesn't really wash it. You know, you're gonna get some, you're gonna get some weird things growing in there. Women show, women, women, women. shows chin infection reportedly caused by kissing them. Oh, yeah, that's gross. See, see. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, I do have to like lift it up, scrub underneath. <laughs> what does the wife think about your mustache? She is okay with it. Hmm. Only reason why I still have it on. If she would have been like, gross. After this. She's gonna make you shave it. I'm, no, I mean, I don't think so because I'm always, I'm clean. Okay. So. Problem solved.
But yeah, no, if she would have been like, no, get rid of that mustache, like, I hate it, and then I would have gotten it. I think it. you look good with a mustache. Oh, I appreciate no, I don't blame her for that opinion. Yeah. I can, I can. She's like, she can take it or leave it. So I'm like, right. all right, I'll go with it then. Right. If you're cool with it. But yeah. Yeah. You do look like a like a fireman chief. I'm sure you get that a lot. I got that. I, get I feel like that's anyone with a stash. Like, you just look like a policeman, you know, or something. Yeah, I forgot. We we met some family, and they thought I was a, a cop. I was like, no, I do YouTube. They're like, oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Complete opposite. Yeah, that's completely opposite. Yeah. Um, but interesting. Okay. Entrococcus. Entrococcus. Fecalis. Fecalis. That's interesting. Okay. Well, learn something new. Yeah, seriously. Learn something new. Yeah. Oh, I was just looking at, I was pulling up uh, just random stuff. Okay. Have you seen, I'm kind of changing the subject a little bit. Brady, do you mind switching over? Have you heard of the outdoor book? I have. I you have? I love it. Yeah, it's great. You want? Yes. I just, Brady introduced me to them. It pisses me off, honestly, his channel, but it's so great. <laughs> Wait, why? Because all he's doing is going out and camping. Bro, he's not just going out I know. camping. Okay, I, no, 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 that's not what I mean. <laughs> that's what you said. The amount of forethought and production and like build meetings and all this stuff that we do to get ready for our meeting, our, our videos. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying this isn't, it's, it, I'm not saying it's not something that requires effort. Yeah, okay. I'm okay. not saying uh -huh. that, it, let me clarify. I'm, not uh -huh. like, I'm uh -huh. clarifying. You're, you're doing the, you're moonwalking back. Oh. But he's like, I'm gonna go to this spot. I'm gonna bring this stuff. I'm gonna go out there and, and camp. I'm sure he's done this his whole life. I mean, obviously. It's it's just like, to me, it's like, man, I wish I could have content that easy. Which I, I'm sure I could if I did it. I'm just saying. That is not easy okay, content. So you're right, you're right, you're right. Because I right when I said. He does one every Saturday. Right when I said that, I was like, it, it isn't easy. But it's like, it's from, from the production standpoint, it's, it's Bro, easy. he's out there for two weeks. Oh, like, from the production, from the production standpoint, it's easy. It is, but I'm not saying the things he does is easy. Obviously, going and hunting for your own food. So it's it's a little give or take. Right. Pre-production is easier, but production is and chance of death. That is true. Risk. You're right. But I see what you're saying. No, like definitely. Like, from a, I'm, I'm more talking from just like the the pre-production standpoint. You know, it's I, yeah, probably pre production. I don't know. Yeah. I'm mean, like, not that we do it to the the degree he does, but like we just did a hundred hour survival video, and I was out for four for four days. You know, like li literally did you not. You didn't go home for four no, days? No, I was out on the streets, sleeping in, like going in the bushes, like different kind of survival, not as not as crazy. Is this the prop hunt one? Yeah, yeah. Oh, am I not supposed to say? No, you can. Okay. Yeah. But um, it's like, you know, it's, it's, because uh, I think, when is this going up? Uh, in a couple days, day, or maybe tomorrow. Yeah, well, our, our first episode is coming up on Saturday. Okay. But I don't care, people know, it's not like it's, uh, what's, what's original in, in, in our video is the, is, are the props that we did. Dude, they're super original. Yeah. It's not like, it's not, yeah, no one could, no one could replicate it. No. We did in a day. No, <laughs> I a, saw, I saw some of those pictures, I was like, dang. Yeah. Do you have any, can we show them a yeah. picture? Yeah, might as well, because nice. it'll be up at the same time, probably. Do you mean to just airdrop it to you? No, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. No, but that, that's legit. Those are like legit, I'm trying to think of, I don't think there's any better prop hunt props I've ever seen. Oh, thank you. So I'll just send you a picture of this one. All but right. do you have airdrop on the receipt? On the computer, yeah. There we go. So that. they were all drivable. So you get in, there's cameras and like a screen. Um, so you can be inside of the props. Not yet. No. And then see outside and, and then if I just stop moving, it just looks like a, like, like a thing. And I'm not saying it's, it's like, they're not perfect, but um, like you can see on the, on the one I sent you, you can kind of see the door. Wait, hold on, where did it go? It's in your, probably in your downloads. Oh, you're looking at it, but it should be in your downloads. Or your camera roll. Sorry, this is my first time using a Mac. What? Really? <laughs> I was about to say. Yeah, um, so. Let me just close all this so it's not so much clutter. Yeah. All right. 
Yeah, so it's, it, that one was like, you know, you see those light posts with like those cement bases. Mm -hmm. And so, um, and I, and I kind of planned out, I kind of knew where I was going to hang around. So I knew this was like, like this thing is basically like in that area. Um, so I would, I can drive it around in there. It's powered by a little electric skateboard. I've got a little like steering column in there, like a scooter almost. And then I just drive and it just. In that little thing? How are you fitting it, in that? It was cramped, but I was able to fit. And then, and then I would just stop it. And, and, and like, if you're not really paying attention, it just looks like a light post. And you lasted four days? Not in just, we did four, three other props. So every day I got a new. Oh. Um, so, but the point with, with outdoor boys is like, you know, I'm still going out there for several days, just shooting the whole time. But the amount of like, pr like we, like hours and hours of meetings and discussions and planning. And it's like, he picks up a camera and he goes and has fun with what he loves to do. Yeah. And, and it, it's not, I'm not, I'm not saying it's easy, but it's just like, no, I, I, it, I definitely see like, he's yeah. like, he doesn't have to like, how long did it take you guys to build all those props? Yeah. Like over a month. Yeah. For him to gather, Hey, I need my act, like my, yeah, yeah. my go-to stuff. Like it's, yeah, yeah. no, I definitely, I've, I'm just giving you art. No, I know you are. <laughs> but, um, and then like the, the stressors of things like shipping late and like things breaking, like we almost, the, the second one was a dumpster and we almost couldn't even use it because um, this part that the controller and the, and the it used an electric, like a, an electric bike motor system, like a really beefy one, one of the controllers got fried and we barely found like he, like our, our build manager found some like Russian dude, like way in like San Bernardino, like got there. It was like, he hopes he can fit and the guy was able to fix it. And so, and this was the day before the shoot. So it's like, you have all these stressors. I'm like, ah, yeah. You know, like <laughs> the simplicity of like, I love camping. I love hunting. Yeah. I'm just going to pick up a camera and take the audio. Like that's yeah. what Colby and I are trying to do. Yeah. It was like, let's, and it, it, it we only have four videos and the, the, the latest one reflects, reflects that, but like the first ones are a little more production. I'm like, this is too stressful. It's, yeah. it's not as realistic. But like, let's just pick up your camera and like do what we would just do for fun. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's what I mean. But a lot of respect to him. Like, yeah, dude, it's the stuff he does is like, no wonder he gets views. Like one of the ones he was out in Alaska on this Island for four days by himself. There's bears. He's like, here's some bear tracks. Let me build, build my tent on it. Like I'd be like running in the opposite <laughs> direction. If that was me. There yeah. was, yeah, no, it, it's wild. like there's one. He's in the middle of Alaska. Right. And the one that he literally built a half tent. It wasn't a fully covered tent. Right. It was just like half of it was covered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He put some logs like it's, it's actually kind of cool. You learn, right? Like, yes. okay, he has it elevated. I know it kind of some of the stuff you kind of, kind of knew, but like he would put holes underneath hit the, the bed. Right. And then he was talking about like why he doesn't use sleeping bags. He uses like, uh, you know, elk hide and like all yeah. that stuff because if embers fall on it, it won't catch fire because mm -hmm. they're like fire repellent yeah. or whatever it is. Yep. And this guy's out there sleeping in like below freezing temperatures. Yeah. And he's just like, no big deals. Like, yeah. oh, I, I, I can't remember which one it was. That's and, the, and the ones uh, where he does like the. The, the other ones where he like digs his like s the snow out like that's all I mean that's a that is yeah, like backbreaking work you know no he's like doing f it, yeah uh, it, it should be I don't know if it's gonna come in through you'd have to turn it on through the source that's so cool No. I'm not sure how I'm gonna get home, but one thing's for sure, it's gonna be an interesting video. Oh, is there anything better than warm fresh bread? Dude, because that's crazy. Cause he gets flown in, and like literally his only way back is for the pilot to come back for him. I haven't seen that one. That's wild. I've all, the only ones that I've seen are where he'll drive to a spot and he'll walk hike out to a spot. Yeah. Yeah, that's wild, man, that that he's relying on this plane, this these pilots. So and I mean, he, you're, you're not wrong. Like there's a higher level of risk, you know, involved. Like it's, there's definitely mad respect to him. Dude, mad respect. And I, you can tell like, okay, this guy. Like he obviously said, grew up doing all this stuff. Oh, for sure. For sure. What was the one? I, I can't find it, but there's one where, no, I think it's this one. Oh yeah, I love that. 
Is it this one? Look here, DeAndre Boy. Dude. dude, look at him. He's like, he's just a you know, like leaf sweater and just. No, this isn't the one that I saw. But is this? Bro, it's just crazy how he like. It is crazy. Like that, he's moving so much snow. Yeah. Just everything. Yeah. I don't. I was gonna show this to see if Joey has heard of this guy, because he's Joey's into like all that outdoorsy stuff. Yeah. But. He actually inspired one of our we, our videos. We ended up taking it down. Did you see the the one we went to Death Valley? Yes. Yeah, because we were we were trying to go to that survival down. cabin. Because he's done that, he'll go out there. And then we just couldn't even get to the cabin. And it was just like, kind of lame. But. <laughs> oh, we gotta take it down? We, yeah, we took it down. Mainly because it was harming like like the brand deals. Because people people that are brands see the like the latest videos. Like, oh, I didn't stop performing. Mm. Like, okay, how many videos have you, like, Team Edge, when we're doing Team Edge. In our history, I think we, we probably privated. I won't include the. Schmovid ones that we did while we were at Joey's house. Yeah. But I think we've probably we probably pivoted ten videos, maybe. Done. We missed you, no, Joey. You got your slice. You might want to eat the cheesecake. No, yes. I forgot we had it. Why I just had it? Luke. You have to be an absolute idiot to mess up pizza. You need hot pizza or cold pizza. You can't mess In up between pizza. is not good. Hot pizza, cold pizza. It's all good. Frozen's not good. Frozen. <laughs> no. <laughs> I get frozen pizza at the store all the time, though. No, but I honestly, I will never eat cold pizza. It just doesn't taste good. It's just you're wrong. You're very wrong. It's okay though. You're, you're allowed to be wrong. Okay, if you had a choice between cold or hot pizza, what would you pick? Hot. Stop. Why is that taking so long? It depends on my mood. Oh. Dude, not gonna lie. Sometimes cold pizza sounds so good to me that I would prefer it. But then there's times where I'm like, okay, I want to heat this up. It's like it depends on the day. Okay, if you can only eat hot or cold pizza for the rest of your life, what would you choose? I'd choose hot. Exactly. See? Yeah. Cold pizza. Too okay. much work right now to heat it up. <laughs> if microwaves disappeared, I would the benefit to cost ratio, not in favor. What? <laughs> I didn't hear what he said. <laughs> not what? No, no, man. <laughs> yeah, I didn't hear what you we, What were we saying? I can't Ask me more questions, voice? bro. Outdoor boys. No, have you heard about outdoor That's what Indy does. Ask me questions, Daddy, about he what my favorite that? thing Aww. is. Yeah. So cute. What's your favorite that? color? Have you heard of the outdoor boys? No. No? Is that a uh, hit channel? <laughs> no, <laughs> it's not. Bro, you would love. Yeah, Joe, you would eat this up. You might even switch your channel over to this. I got a mouthful of pizza, so. Bro, you gotta watch. So this dude, can you uh, switch? He's in the bedroom. All right, so this dude, Joey, mm -hmm. he made literally what he says he's doing, like three days in Arctic bushcraft, hot tent, no sleeping bag. He basically just picks up a camera, goes in, in, in uh, camps, and does like survival stuff. It's pretty cool. Nice. Dude, he's chopping down. I mean, this is the one that I saw. It looks like fun. It looks like a real bear skin. No, it is. Not bear, it's either elk, moose. Oh yeah, yeah, or it. moose. Or uh, what was the other one? Uh, buffalo, he has buffalo, caribou. elk. Caribou. Caribou, yeah. That's a yeah. cool survival vehicle. Dude, I know, I saw it. I was like, he had this one where it was like, it's called a snow dog. Have you seen that? Snow dog? It's, uh. it's, an, it's basically like, you know. So you watch this channel? Yeah. It's like this little cart. You hold on to it with your two hands. It's, and then it has this motor in the front and it's kind of, it's got like those snow tracks. So it's mimicking like real snow dog, but it's it's like a it's like a motorized thing. And then you have this sled that you stand in and you can put like your gear in it and stuff. Electric snow dog? Just type in snow dog on Google. Woof, woof. I mean it's not electric, it's gas. Yeah, yeah, that. Whoa. What? Isn't that sick? Yeah, and then you and you can just take that in the snow and um and it's pretty Pretty sweet. <laughs> but why not just have a quad or something or a snowmobile? That's true. That's pretty much a snowmobile. I mean, there's just, you know, it's different forms of transportation. They've placed a limit on themselves because they're sledders, dog sledders, that they don't need. <laughs> well, can you do that? Uh, yeah, it's actually kind of true. Why not a snowmobile? <laughs> Maybe it's. 
Oh, I mean, they did just put it in the back of their car. Well, you can do a snowmobile in the back of it. It's smaller. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, it's more compact. I, I mean, I'm, it could just be a, you know, some some people just like different uh, Okay, things. there's probably more practical use. It's the difference between jet skiing and sea doing. <laughs> <laughs> no, but look, 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 look. I know you can do that too. It's like a snow motorcycle almost. A snow motorcycle. I mean, that's literally what a, that's what a snowmobile yeah. is. I don't know. I don't know why. Like, why choose that over something else? Well, it's much. More, it looks saying. like much more mobile. It doesn't take up that much space. You can. Yeah, no, I'm trying to justify this thing. Yeah, you're trying sure. to. I, I would rather. But you might have some issues with quads, like because a quad doesn't have those snow tracks and tires, so Joey. You're, you're gonna have some issues with that. I said snowmobile. But you could put that kind of a snow track on a quad. Here's the problem. Oh, that's true. You can't get much traction on those things if there's not much weight on them. So you're not even using your weight to push the traction into the, the snow dog? ice. Yeah. The, the snow dog itself is heavy. I know, that's what I'm saying. Did they have to just add weight? No, it's, it's probably virtue, heavy itself. It's just by virtue of being a, a, a motor. <laughs> See? <laughs> he doesn't have to do anything other than just stare at you with a blank face and you just start laughing. It's true. But yeah, that, I, he used one of those for a video. And it was pretty cool. Like it'll, he would like, it would take him to these like little rivers too. And I'm like, dang man. But he also did have some trouble with it on the rivers. He, he looks stuck. like a grandma in a garden. <laughs> this guy's manlier than you are, Joey. He is manlier that. than you. Yeah, dude. But he, he gets views. Was yeah, he gets a ton he gets of views. views. Low overhead, dude. Just just travel costs, and I'm sure he. I mean, I'm sure if you buy some of the gear, but I'm sure he has most of his gear. Low overhead. Crazy views. Dude, he, he, takes, he takes his kids and his, his wife, so it's like family time yeah. sometimes. This guy's got the channel. Like, if I could choose a channel, this would be and up I'll do there. It. And you know why I like him Fine. too? Fine. Oh, let's do it. Oh, I actually had a really sick channel idea. It's, um, <clears throat> what was I going to call it? I forget what I was going to call it, but it's it's flight flight vlogs. Flight vlogs. Flight yeah, dogs? Since, since, I, since I, I mean, I'm, I'm rusty. <laughs> Since I, you know, I fly plane, I haven't flown in a while, but like, like it's a channel where I go flying and yeah. I take people and we just yeah. talk and fly. So you, I, that sounds like fun, but to be, I'll be honest with you, I probably will never get into a plane. That's what I said, that you're piloting. <laughs> <laughs> when he first yeah, got no. his license, he said, like, I just got my license, let's go up. I was like, I'll wait a few years. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I remember that. I will, no, no. What was that? Oh. I see. I, it sounds like fun. Like, I would want to, but that seems pretty darn dangerous. It's not. No, here's the thing. It's not. Statistically, it's not. Statistically, it is. Because the more you go up, the more you're increasing your chances that you're going to crash. If you go up once, low chance. If this is your job and you do it all the time every day, you're dead. <laughs> it's, uh, that's, that is logically invalid. Did you see? You can't just say something's it, logically it, invalid. I'm gonna, I'm gonna back it up. I'm gonna back it up. You better back you it can up. Do, you can, okay, I could say that about going on and driving on the freeway. Yeah, you Every, totally could. Yeah, it's but, true. But, but the, no, but if you look statistically, <laughs> plane crashes are much less common and less deadly than, than per plane maybe not deadly, ride? Maybe not deadly, but. It's <laughs> not, a, not a lot of people surviving plane crashes, bro. It's, no, no, it's, you just threw that in there. No, no, <laughs> I, I, I retract what I, what I said, but I'm, it's statistically not that you're, you're less likely to die in a plane. Are we talking what about What are you numbers? talking about? Yeah, then, no. then motorcycle, then motorcycle. Because was, you don't ride, there's not as many flights as people driving cars. Per, you talk, no, if you talk per capita, no way. More people die in like private planes and helicopters. No. Per, no. I don't, look it up. I think, I mean, I, I think Per capita? Wrong. Look it up. Look you know up. what capita means? Look it up. Per 100 people that do it. No, per. it's just person. Capita means person. <laughs> yeah, capita. No, no, no. per person, yeah. Look per. it up. Look it I up. I want to throw up. this cross in your face so What's bad. more dangerous, driving down the freeway or getting you in an airplane? question me. <laughs> I question. Look it up. Okay, I want to relax, man. Be look it up, dude. A lot of carnage look left on my plate. You got anything What's to dip? More? Dude, what? You have so much waste on your plate. <laughs> okay, not commercial flight. We're not talking commercial. Commercial is the safest way. Safe Not recently with Boeing. It's you're right. It's that it's starting to get. But what I'm saying, commercial flights, I do agree with you. But I'm talking like non, like non. -commercial. Okay, so if you were to say the, the, if the same amount of people were flying planes as driving cars, 
your argument is that planes would be more dangerous. Not commercial. Commercial flying is the commercial. safest. I'm, I'm talking about, about the type of planes you fly. Prop propellers, like. Okay. Prop propellers. So if there were there were more the same amount of people flying than driving, I would agree that it's it's more dangerous. Yes. Yeah. But I'm just saying, statistically speaking, it's like, it's the likelihood. What I'm statistic are we talking about? I'm talking about probability. I think you're probability flight. wrong. <laughs> no, I agree with you. Over, like, if you encompass all flying, yeah, because of commercial flying. But if you take out I that, you. that's what I'm talking about. Like, that's why, like, I would be like, I, it's super dangerous. Like, what about maybe? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the thing what is, if everyone was, if everyone was, if everyone was flying planes, it would 100% be more deadly because there would be so many mid-air collisions. You would have so many. Yeah, You'd have, so that's but your problem. That's not you the increase case. that. But that's not the case. That's not Yeah, the but reality. you're talking about going up. You're just one more person up in the air. It's increasing But it's chances. not the reality. It's not the reality. You don't live in reality. Like, There's one. Did you guys see that? That was one? Mexico. It was great. Do we want to talk about that? <laughs> We're talking about planes. <laughs> He's I'm like, over I'm it. done. How was Mexico? I'm over it. <laughs> Yeah, tell us about why were you, because I saw you post something like you were. No, so you just, well, yeah, while I'm trying to find this. Let's finish, let's take subject to subject. What? what? Plane. Are you, are you seeing that video where the plane Free engine fall. exploded and it was like. Wait, where's my phone? No, it's like the, the, this guy what was learning how to fly. No, I need to check my calendar. Oh, ah, we're fine. It might have been on Instagram. If I can't find it in the next like 15 seconds. 14, 13. You're getting me nervous 12. now. Eleven. And this student, it was a student pilot and his uh, instructor. They were flying. The engine just cuts yeah. off. The plane just drops and it's spinning. And the the, it's the spun? It was like yeah, it was spinning. What, was it on takeoff when this happened? No, they were already like really coasting at a, they were at cruising altitude. That sounds really weird. All I know is it started. It dropped. It starts like doing a spiral. And you no. can hear the instructor. Oh, it's not a spiral. What is it? Well, it's a barrel roll. No, what I'm saying is what were so were they? You can be at flight altitude and still be climbing. What, were the, was there was their nose pitched up or was it level when that happened? <laughs> no, I'm curious. I'm I'm genuinely just curious on the situation. I don't know. Because to me, the thought of it, if the engine dying and then it, if it's level and it instantly just spins out of control, because that doesn't make sense to me. Oh, he's a seasoned pilot over yeah, here. Just because it doesn't make sense to you, just maybe well, it doesn't make sense. Well, no, because there, there, are, <laughs> there are there are situations that cause spins. It's a real thing they teach you. And so if you're if you're I watched Top you, Gun. If your nose is up and your engine dies, typically what will happen is it's called a stall if you don't point it down. Yeah. So if if they're going up and they and the engine dies and they keep pitching up, it'll spin and, and there or it'll stall. And most of the time you just you can do a clean stall and just go back. Mm. But sometimes in certain conditions, it can go into a spin and then, then it's, then you're. It might've been a training exercise. Okay. I don't know. I mean, I've played a bunch of ACE combat. Is this a training so exercise or is this an, an accident? It, I, I don't know. Cause everything you're saying is, I don't know if it was a training accident. Like okay. it just showed it was, he was at altitude climbing, nose pitched up and he went into a free fall and it started spinning. And you can hear the instructor saying all the, he was like, the instructor was like super calm, like, okay, all right, well, um, uh, just uh, go ahead and push the throttle all the way forward. Okay. Uh, pull your uh, flat arm. Okay, all right. Did and they then, die? No, they, like, he's like, he, you can hear the, the instructor talking to the guys, like, all right, uh, throttle forward. Okay, let's uh, restart the engines. And there, you can see, like, they're like, Rrr. so they, they do spin training. When you're becoming a flight instructor, they, they will make you do spin, like, purposely do spins so that you can learn to get out of them. So it, it, it probably was a training. The way, you're, the way you're explaining it then is probably what... Because why would it go into a death spiral if it does have... Yeah, that, 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 to me that doesn't really make sense. Because like instantly when your engine... They make you practice engine failures. So they'll like cut your engine out. Did you, did you have to go through all that? Yeah, yeah. And then, <laughs> and then it's not hard. Like it, planes want to fly, so they'll continue to glide. So why, why are, are you, you laughing? laughing? You keep laughing. I'm like, now I'm getting insecure about what I'm saying. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> planes want to fly. <laughs> that just reminds me of that Pixar movie, Planes. <laughs> so annoying. Go back to your stupid movie. interview. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but it's like, yeah, you know, to me it just sounds weird that it would just spin out of nowhere for no reason. Like that to me is, sounds not correct. He called you BS. What are you going to do about it? 
We bought. But we he, bought. he 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 did qualify. <laughs> you qualify then, so you might think it might be a. What did you do? Uh, Death spiral. Yeah, I, I, I mean, knowing all that, yeah, maybe it was a training exercise because the way he said it, I just remember seeing the video. I was like, just just put you in your place. He did. He just went. Mm. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Twenty. Turn fully developed spin. Hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. put it on Brady. Is this the video that you saw? I think this is it. You yeah. see that? Yeah, that, that was on purpose. How do you know? Hold that on. That was totally on purpose. We have to hear that, you have to hear it. I just hold it. Okay, full back stick, full rudder. Full uh, right stick, full okay, rudder. Okay, yeah. Cool out whether it's stable or not. That plane just yeah, is stable. itching the floor. Dude. Dude. Yeah, yeah, that that was that was purpose. That was purposeful. That plane wants to fly. <laughs> yeah, and, and they, they teach you how to get out. How to get out of that. <laughs> You're stupid, Joe. It's just drilling, man. <laughs> Joey. <laughs> Yeah, and, they, and then it just then it just stables yeah, up. Yeah, because they they didn't just stable out of nowhere. They did something to do that. But. Man, you stupid, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Training exercise or not, yeah. that is that is nuts. It does that that is scary. Yeah. You can tell he's an actual uh, Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. What's up with that cheesecake? It's all you, dog. All me? No, I mean I want some. But no help. Me. That's all me. Is there porks in there? Yeah, there's only one though. Uh, I got more back there. Here, you take the first one, Jeff. All right. I left a lot of pizza carnage. <laughs> mm, Can we get the up. top down shot on that? <laughs> oh yeah. I got another fork. What is this? I'm gonna get, we'll get another fork. That's the whole slice? That yeah, I, last time they, they gave me a lot more. It's pretty good. They skimped out on me this pizza time. Pizza DeMarco. Excuse me. Don't do anything. Crazy. He's getting a fork. Sit tight. All right, now it's since jo Joey's <laughs> over talking about planes. Next. Next. Thank Mexico. You. What are we doing in I Mexico? I could talk about it all day, so we'll move on. I can tell. Bro, you got it. You got it. Let's talk about woodworking. Ah, <laughs> uh, boring. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. It's so cold. Mm. So, what, what did you say, Brian? Mexico, you were in Mexico. Yeah, what, I went to what Mexico. What were you doing there? So we went to uh, Sinaloa. Mm. Bro, that's like, like, drug cartel country, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yike. Yeah, they they if you Google it, it's like they say it's like the drug cartel capital of Mexico. Yike. You're not having cheesecake? I already had a bite. Oh. Mm -hmm. Now I need a new. Oh, I guess I already had my fork. You guys don't want any more of this? Yeah, I do. What do you, you? You said I didn't want more. You can have one. <laughs> you guys are right. I'm good. Keep going. You want more? Mm. <laughs> I'm eating it just because you're creepy. What? Because <laughs> you're creepy. Ah. So it was um, it was a church. A church. Okay, so there's actually a lot to it, but it was really a really cool thing. So our church is partnered with. It's called Planted Ministries. You guys heard of Planted? You know Hector, one of the he. He was the guy that actually I don't think he shut down the ministry. Never mind. But essentially. The, the, the behind planted is this farm. It's called Family Tree Farms. So um, they're like a huge, huge farm. It's really cool. And these guys are Christians and like they became extremely successful and they wanted to like figure out what to, you know, they want to obviously steward that well, yeah. not just for themselves. So they started Planted Ministries. So they plant, wherever there's a farm, they mm. plant churches for that area. So and we, cool. what were you doing? Were you just there to help support? Yeah, just doing? check it out. Like yeah. that's like I mean, you're going to cartel land. From, yeah. I mean, I'm not an expert in in that stuff, but I know it's not the most sure safest. About that? that mustache. Did you blend right in? I I would blend, you in. Would blend in. You Big stick body. out. No, like, they were joking. Like we bring you along, so they'll kidnap you instead of me. <laughs> 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 but we were there to yeah, just kind of like observe and like yeah. support where we can help out. Do you speak Spanish? No bro espanol. No bro espanol? No bro, no, no bro espanol. 
What are you doing with that cheesecake? I'm holding it. <laughs> I know that. All right. Joey. So obviously, you want some. Yeah, I've said that like 10 times. <laughs> I mean, you were saying it all weird, so I can't tell if you're serious or not, you freak. Bro, if it's food, I'm serious. Let's not joke so around weird. with food, okay? So, we, yeah, we went out there. Podcast a lot. Do, do you, I mean, I'm assuming there's no issues or anything like that. Like that. As long as no. you know where to go, where to stay away from. Yeah. And and they're, they've been there for a long time. Mm. And they've also, like, figured out how to, like, coexist with them. So, this okay. farm... Stop crazy. making it weird. No, it's crazy. Okay. So they, they I'm not making it weird. <laughs> See all your jokes your what they do, face. Joey? Yeah. I know. Now I just can't even tell if you're serious or not, because you just <laughs> anyways, so they one, the like they, with the cartel, it's like it's a business, right? To yeah. them, like they just if it's you know, if they're they're not gonna do things that are gonna interfere with that. And not only that, the the farm is like pouring into the community. So these families that are that are like also part of the cartel you know, when during the on season, they're working for the farm mm -hmm. and they're getting like health care benefits. They're getting like all these things with the cartel or the ministry with the ministry okay. that they wouldn't yeah. get from the cartel. Gotcha. Okay. So you have a lot of people that like they all know it's like a, only a positive thing mm -hmm. to the community. And so they're, they actually had a story where like one of the pastors were, were kidnapped and they were like trying to get ransom from the sky. Dang. And when the car, like when the leader, like these were like kind of rogue guys that just kind of did it. Rogue cartel guys? Yeah. And then the leaders, I don't know who, but they found out. And this is kind of like where it gets a little bit like dark. <laughs> they like apologized. They brought him back and the money back. And then they hung the guys that like kidnapped. Dang. They're that serious. Like don't mess with this, this, this farm and this ministry. Like don't. What does it say? Yeah, because it makes sense. Because these like, like those type of ministries, they do like, and I've heard of stuff like that too. Where like, no, they, they're cartels are like working side by side with these type of ministries or people like those type side by side. Yeah, like you said, like they're like, hey, like it's like you said, it's a business that they're running. Yeah. But that's crazy. Yeah. So what did you end up doing? We got to just meet the uh, everyone kind of involved. We got to go out. Um, we filmed uh, a little video for Crossroads that that uh, just kind of updating the church on I saw it, didn't I? <laughs> Well, the, was it Jim's presentation in the beginning of service, or was it the video on Oh, Instagram? I guess it was, it was just a picture we just saw. Yeah, so we made a little video. Like, Hector is the, the guy that leads the church in Sinaloa, uh -huh. in, like the ministry. And so we went out there with Jim, and we recorded him, like, them talking about what, how Crossroads, you know, has supported it, like, showing him, like, because one of the things was, like, we, we paid for air conditionings, Crossroads did, um, and like church all knew about it, but it's like, here's an update. Here's where yeah, it went. Yeah, like, yeah. Here, like, look at it. You know, it's going to where we say yeah. it's going. Kind yeah. Of yeah. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. That's why you Do probably stuck work. out. Thank you for doing that. Yeah. And it's you probably fun. stuck out too. Cause like a sore thumb. Yeah. And he sticks like, out a sore thumb anywhere. They're like, they're like, they're like, they're like, don't walk the streets at night. And then the last night we're at one of their churches and the kids, they were kind of, some of them were kind of fans of Danger Bros, but they're like, we wanna, like, let's go play basketball. And like, there's this court like a couple blocks away. And so. They just start. They just took us. And we're walking down the streets, and I was like, "Look behind me!" Like, oh dang! It was. Dude. It was fun. It was fine. We didn't. I'm it's here. Fine. So. It's fine. <laughs> you made it. Just like his off-road driving. It's fine. It's, it's fine. fine. That's all my. That's always my thing. It's it's fine. Fine. It'll be fine. It'll be. Is that your first time going to Mexico? Death spiral's fine. We've been there a few times. Mm -hmm. How about you? Have you been to Mexico? When I was maybe like two. Three? Only time I've been out of the country is the Bahamas when I was ten. You didn't even get off the boat, did you? You just yeah, did. We did. You did? Yeah, we went to uh, Nassau. How did you cruise? NASA, Nassau. Yeah. Cruise, Disney cruise. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's Sarah's. It was a missions trip. <laughs> trip. Disney cruise <laughs> missions trip. Are <laughs> <laughs> you to go back? I kind of, I do. I, want, I would love it. I want to bring Jillian too. Oh, really? I thought yeah. that, that looked kind of cool. Hmm? It'd be kind of cool. Let's go, dude. Where you go? Dude, you guys should all come next time. Do you need your passport? Yes. I need to get my oh. passport. Yeah, it was really cool. I may, I may. But for me, like my takeaways were, like you see these people who don't, like is in America we have a lot, generally, yeah. generally yeah. speaking. And so you see these people who just don't care about that stuff. Yeah. And it's okay to have it, but they just don't care. Like their focus is loving people and I'm like yeah. to me I'm like that was really challenging encouraging yeah yeah I feel like one of the big reasons I would go is to change my own heart you know it will change not, your heart. not just to like 
help other people, but yeah. to change my own wicked heart. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It is. Well, I mean, last time I went was before I got married to your sister, what, eight, 15 years ago, 15, 16, 15, 16 years ago. I was like 19, 20 ish, somewhere around there. Guatemala. It's it's a it's a whole different world, man. Like you come from America, it's like you think oh, I don't have I don't have all the, the the bells and whistles, but then you go there, you're like. Oh, I have all the bells yeah, and whistles. Yeah, we, we went out to this oh, yeah. to this church, and it's, if you go on the Instagram, it, like you'll see. I don't know. If, I don't know if Jim put it on the cross. Or, he probably put it on the cross his Instagram. And we go to this church. It's like kind of off the beaten path, and like you see these houses, they're 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 like kind of breaking down. Like their fences are made out of sticks and wire. Like they're not, they're yeah. not, it's not nice. And there's this guy that we met. And the, like the first thing he says, is, he has this big smile and he like shakes our hand. He's like, I, we're so blessed of what God's doing here. And I think about all the times I'm back home, like complaining about little stupid things. Like, man, I suck. Like, like perspective. I is flooded like, my <laughs> truck. <laughs> I flooded my truck. <laughs> no, seriously. Like we yeah. complain about you yeah. Know, yeah. things in our comfort and you go there and you're like, man, yeah. I, like I, yeah. we, it's perspective and it's convicting. You know. And it's it's interesting, like when you when you because I haven't been in like what, eighteen years, whatever that is, like you forget. <clears throat> and when you talking about it, like all those things come back. And even still, then it's like not the same as like being there. Yeah. So to me, it's like yeah, I remember it, but it's I'm sure like I know it's not the same. And it's yeah. cool to hear yeah. you say and like yeah, for you to go experience that would be cool too. The other cool yeah. part was like the so the guys that started the farm, they're from Kingsburg, so they're based in Kingsburg. Tennessee, Where's California. It's oh. up. It's up towards Yosemite. Kingsburg, Tennessee. Okay. And like, they built this massive, insane farm. Mm -hmm. Like that they that they're they're wildly successful. You know, you can just I mean, just seeing what their their whole production of all those berries and stuff. It's all. It's only berries, or they no? They do other fruits too. They their main thing is is blueberries. They I think mm -hmm. that's what they started with. If I'm not wrong. I love a blueberry. But like these guys, Jeez. like just to see, like yes, they have this successful business, but their focus on like the kingdom and <coughs> and stuff like that is like <coughs> it, it was really encouraging for me as like a Christian biz business owner. It's like yeah, we have this thing going on, but like sometimes I'm distracted by yeah. things. You know, yeah, it's like yeah. their focus on the gospel, like like they talked about that way more pumped and excited than their farm. Yeah. You know? hmm. So it's just like you see. You kind of see two worlds there. You see like the people that don't have much and how joyful they are. And then you see these guys who have made this huge thing and, and like how humble and like Christ centered they are, you mm -hmm. know? So nice. just things that convicted me yeah. a little bit, you know? That's awesome. That pizza's got me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, it was 1.52. I said 2 o'clock. So before you guys leave, you guys need to. We're going to do a little. Yes, yep. sir. You got to have. A, yeah, you guys get a grip on the Heck wall. Yes, brother. So all you guys are doing, I need to get blank sheets. Graham's mad that he's not on the wall. <laughs> Is he not going to get on it? I think I'm not going to allow him to go on the wall. I'm going to let everybody else but him. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Y'all got to stop flirting. <laughs> stop. Where do you get that wood? Huh? Where do you get that wood? Uh, harvested myself, so it's harvested. organically raised. <laughs> you harvested it. <laughs> you got a tree in your backyard. You just got it from. It's cedar. Cedar? Cedar. It's not cedar. a cedar. Cedar. Not synthetic. No, sir. Is that All authentic right. wood? All right, you can choose. I don't know what color you guys want. I want. Is there only white? Oh, the board. Ooh, the dark. I like kind of the gray, the gray vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Is that? Man, I love the smell of cedar. You can do. Oh, dude, that actually does smell good. You do thick. Smell the other side. Yeah. Use that one. It's really good. So this one's kind of leaking a little bit. It's the thicker, fatter one. So Is that what you have all your fingers? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll avoid it. All right. I'll wait for I'm gonna go home and paint. <laughs> all right. So while Joey's doing. What should that, I write? Your name, or however you want. What is my name? Dumpling. Uh, you can do what Mark do, do did. Mark, <laughs> he, he plugged in his Instagram. Do a little dumpling. <laughs> nah. Do a little dumpling, Joey. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I need to make it look like my name is just squeezed in. You doing, Jay Fred? Yeah, so we got, going up today, we got Alexander Aguilar. While Joey's writing his. 
Can you cut to the overhead, por favor? Then we got R.L. McAloid. MacLeod. 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 It's MacLeod. R.C., correct me how I'm saying you're wrong. You're wrong. Your name. R.L. <laughs> R.C. R <laughs> Dang it. We got Mr. Polar Bear. Don't take offense. That's just Brian. Yeah, just Brian. Bro, I, had, I had to redo two of them because I misspelled. Well, that was funny, so just keep it. Uh, and then we, we have it. Scarlett Williams. Scarlett Williams. Brisk Wolf. Brisk Wolf. Spoods. Spoons. Spoods. 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 Now I asked them how they want their names because some people use their, they wanted their, their, their username or some of them wanted their full names. And then we have Talon. Oh, you saying. just bumped my pen. Oh, I see what you're doing there. That's artistic. I'm an artist. That's like the most artistic one yet. That's right. That's but you know why? Because nobody else was able to write their name. It was it, Brian it, writing it, their it's name. It's not centered though. I gotta do the dash. It's not centered. I don't go by Jake. I've never anymore. seen you write like that before. Not not write neatly. Yeah. I have really bad writing. Your Fred. Folks. Your Fred. If you ever see me write something, handwrite something, yeah, it looks it. like I. Use my toes, right put here. the pencil between my toes to write it. I'm gonna do uh, the classic. You just say you don't go by J. Oh, it is anymore? Aguilar. There's no I unless you forgot the I. No, no I. And then it's Aguilar, not Aguilar, right? Aguilar? Aguilar. 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 Wait, you say you don't go by J. Fred anymore? No, dude. J. Fred's dead? J. Fred's dead, man. Team Edge is over. For real? I'm not gonna call myself J-Fred on my new channel. Think about how cocky that sounds. I give myself well, you called a yourself J -Fred on I did not give myself that nickname. Yo, what's up folks? My name is J-Fred. But you would call <coughs> yourself J-Fred. No. But you didn't give yourself that name. I, I see what you're saying. Yeah, you know the you name a stuck after a while. It was on my shirt. Sounds like you want. No, I said if you want. Sounds like you want me to be J-Fred. Oh, Cheese and crackers. Who's this better, mine or Jeff's? Wait, so, you, so when you're talking to, your, talking to yourself, mm, my name's yourself, Joey. Just, just Joey? Yeah. Not jo what about Joseph? Sounds like a Going more. for the humility vibe. <laughs> Joseph. You think it's cocky to I call don't. yourself J. Fred, even though it's a nickname that everyone knows you as? That audience doesn't. How do you know? Because it's not so going to be the same well, audience. What if the new think. audience would still like that? So you don't want to be referred to as J. Fred either? You can call me whatever you want. You can call me Butthead. I don't care. Okay, Butthead. <laughs> okay, you. Butthead. He gave us permission. I did. Jeff. Jeff Papa. Jeff Papa. You right. know what? J. Fred needs to stay with Team Edge. It's, it was special at Team Edge. It was. It's a Team Edge thing. All right, let's I get you guys up on the wall. I love let's do it. it. Are we gonna nail our own one in? Yes, sir. Here, here take yours. Got to nail our own one in. <laughs> I, I understood what you said. Oh yeah, it looks good, man. Should I fill it in? Maybe I'm I should back, fill it in. dude. Yeah, fill it in. Well, we, we'll. That'll we'll, take forever. <laughs> no, we got time. Jeff Papa. Honestly, it would take forever. Dude, you're showing the, the audience your, your tush. The crackus? <laughs> the crackus? The crackus? The crackus? Rex. The crackus? The kraken? Oh, crap. <laughs> the fresh paint? <laughs> Not on the couch. Oh, I was like, no! On my hand. All right, uh, can you see good? We good? Uh, yeah. That's a lot. I'll show you all the right side. Now we're good. Just, I want to make sure we can get everybody. You got the hammer right there. So can I, do I start the? Okay. So you can go, yeah, right there in the middle, right there. Just I see how I kind of nailed them, not all the way in. Yep. From the top, right there. I got you. Do you not use hammers? No. Or does your build team do all the building? The build team does all of it. I've never used a hammer in my entire life ever. Once. Nobody uses nails. I do. Really? Serious? Actually, if I'm. Good then what do you use to hammer them in? If you said I, you haven't used a hammer. If I. <laughs> I have. I. Yeah, I, uh, when I'm lazy at home and I'm hanging something and it's not heavy, I'll just do a nail. Into the drywall? <laughs> yeah. If it's really lightweight, it, it's, it's fine. It's true. All right. Talon! Talon! Talon see, needs a nail. See, see how it's starting to get a little crooked? Ooh. But, I mean, it's, it's fine. It kind of gives it that sh ship lap. Yeah, that kind of homemade vibe. I should have yeah. stopped while yeah. I was ahead and not filled this in. Aggressive. <laughs> All right, next. 
Right. You gotta Foods. I like how you have the nail sticking out a little bit. Yeah, it's kind of like a it's a vibe. And it might it's gonna evolve as we as we go along too. Right. Uh, let's go. And we're gonna come back after like a year, and this is, entire wall is just gonna be names. That's that really exciting. Be, yeah, that'd be it's wild. Like pretty this exciting. Is, this is a mark of your progress as your ch of, of your channel, which is kind of cool. Of the community growing. Yeah. So this, that's actually a cool right. little thing. Yeah, I'm excited I did for it. it. And the plan is if, if ah, oh. Whoa, we both had issues at the same exact time. <laughs> Tori! The plan is, as I like, if I ever upgrade these panels, because is, if I could, possible, I, I, will, I would ship their original ones to them. All right. Oh, that would be neat. Yeah, so we got. Yeah, but if, he said if he ever does what to the channel? Panel, if he ever wants to change this. Mm. All right, Mr. Polar Bear, you're on deck. Mr. Polar Bear. Oh! Oh, I was like, why is he hitting with his left hand? I forget it was left-handed. You're left-handed? I never noticed. Thank really? You. Uh, yeah. Just start going this way because I can fill. It'll fill the wall that way a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Right there. <laughs> nice. Get there. Thank you. <laughs> get it. Get it. Get it, Jake. Forget it. Man, you're not very good at hammering. That was kind of sloppy. I know, and you're like a it's perfect like woodworking channel too. That was perfect technique. You're just creative. You're just creative. You're right, just got creative. RL. RL, baby. RL. RL McLeod. What did you say again? McKellian? McAloyd. Mac. <laughs> Mac Lloyd. Mac Lloyd. <laughs> Mac Lloyd. 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 It's Mac Lloyd. McLeod. RL. Correct me. McLeod. Mac Lloyd. McLeod. 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 I'm calling it McLeod. All right, next up, Brisk Wolf. Nice and brisks. Some brisket. Have you ever, oh, you don't smoke meat, do you? My wife does. Does she, does she done, does she done brisket? Yeah, she does, yeah. It, she does it really well. Well done? Well done. She, she, uh, you know, whenever she smokes meat, it's so good. Mm. Love it. Yeah, let's go right here. Scarlet. Scarlett Williams. Got it, Williams. Oi! He's hitting his fingers. I wonder how many like bruised fingernails you're gonna get from this I, last, over the years. This time, uh, so far so good, but last time I, I, I you just nailed, nailed it. it. Nailed it. All right, Alexander Aguilar. Agu Alexander Aguilar. Not Aguilar, there's no I. Aguilar. Very clean, very clean, very clean. There you go. All nice. right. Nice. Cleo. All right, all right, all right, all right. Well, that's it. Well, guys. Oh, oh. Hey, we'll see you guys. Don't forget, if you guys want to join the Patreon, uh, exclusive content, behind the scenes, polls, questions, all that good, juicy stuff. And yeah, it was really nice. Thanks for supporting you. my friend, guys. Yeah. 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 It's good. Hey, yeah. I'm excited to go off roading. Dude, I'm, I'm stoked to take you off roading. It's going to be fun. I'll go. Woo! <laughs> no, I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm just joking. Just All right, joking. links to Patreon morning. down below. We'll see you guys. Peace. Peace to you. Peace to you. Don't you guys always do that? Peace. Peace. That's that's, the, that's, that's stuck around. Man. That's, that's Jay Fred. That's a that, that's all. Don't forget about your past, guys. I know Joe. Like, my I'm, past is dead. Don't forget about special. Forget about your past. You'll forget where you're I don't going. want to forget it. I love T-Man.